Hello. What's up, everybody? It's Brent and Mario here. And welcome back to Resident Evil Director's Cut. And why the fuck am I going in here right now? I, I need to turn back. Um, in the last episode, we completed the emblem puzzle. I died, completed the puzzle again, and retrieved the shield key, which unlocks one door in this entire game. All the number of doors you could have chosen. <coughs> it had to be just one. Didn't it, Capcom? Didn't it? So, I need to free up some inventory space for the next room. Uh, the peanut butter gamer. Gosh. Um. Wait, do I have more than seven shells in here? I know I do. I should have more than seven shells. Let's combine these. Check. Let us check my shotgun shells. In Resident Evil Survivor, they call them shotgun bullets. So, the door that um, I entered before returning to my save room to dump some items actually holds a case of explosive grenade rounds for the bazooka, a lighter, a red herb, and a pack and a clip of handgun bullets. So, you know, something for everybody. So, we're gonna go to the explosive rounds room first. Which would be this door. Alrighty. <coughs> Gosh. I'm just. I'm, I'm feeling fine, it's just I've got so much goddamn phlegm stuck in my throat, it's pissing me off. Alright. So the reason why we dumped that water is because we wouldn't normally be able to push it that push that little case of green cum that way. And we have to push the bookcase this way so we can reveal a hidden door which gives us <coughs> grenade rounds. You know, explosive rounds. I call them grenade rounds because it reminds me of Resident Evil 2. But that Resident Evil 2 actually isn't my personal favorite in the series. It's really up there, but it's not my personal favorite. My personal favorite has to be Resident Evil 6. Because that has the best. That, that's just. That is just the best in the entire series. See what I did there? I'll, I'll talk about that game once I have a. Uh, once I have a new camera or when I have like, an Elgato gaming for my 360. Which, you know. Wondering. I haven't done a top 10 list, ever. I'm trying to think what should the first one be. Should it be top 10... Should be a top 10 favorite video game themed one? Like, top 10 favorite video games of all time or something. You know, I'm gonna put three different top 10s in the description. I want you guys to vote on which one I should do. That way, you know. And you have until... You have until November 13th to decide. You have until November 13th to decide what you have November. Okay, you. I. I I'm doing this without a script, so I like. I fuck up a lot. <clears throat> you have until November 13th, 2013, to vote on what my first top 10 should be. And if nobody votes or it's a tie, I will decide. Interesting. And I think my mom is home. That is also interesting. So, we're actually gonna abandon my knife for a while. Sad face. I have a single shell left in the shotgun clip. Whoa. Wait, no, I need my lighter. I need my lighter. Crap. So, I, don't, I think I mentioned it in the previous episode, but... We're gonna have to fight the snake boss. Yeah. That boss. Ugh. 
hate it so much. I wish it was. I wish. I mean, I, I wish that I didn't have to fight it. I wish there's some way like I could just grab the emblem without fighting him. But nope. <sighs> Probably not gonna beat him in this episode. Mostly because I forgot to grab the bazooka. I did grab the shotgun and the lighter, okay. Alright. Open the door. To your death. So, this little door right here actually holds another crest, but we're not going to get it. We're going to get the snake one first, because I really, really do not like it, this boss one. Yes, I will discard uh, the now useless key. Something I don't like about the classic Resident Evils. This key, it's like, this key is useless or this key card is useless. Will you discard? <gasps> oh no! Richard, what happened? Oh, Jill. This house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake. And also... Poisonous. Ugh. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Oh my god. Did I... Best cutscene in the entire world. Uh... I have nothing to comment on. I have nothing to say about what I just, what, what we just saw and heard, ladies and gentlemen. This house is dangerous. Ouch. <sighs> Capcom. Next time you want to make a Resident Evil game. Hire competent voice actors like you did for Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6, and the remake of Resident Evil 1, and Code Veronica X, and I think number 3. Voice actors in Survivor did okay. I actually finished Survivor. Mostly because I wanted to see if it really was under 2 hours long. And it is. And I'm mad about that. Alright, so on the room marked on the map is this one, one of the first save rooms we ever entered. Search the shelf. If you search the shelf before this little part, um, then you will not be able to find the bottle of serum. But if you search it right now after you find Richard and you hear that awesome cutscene with that mo with the most amazing voice acting in the world then you'll find some serum, but it's only one dose. I don't know if you can keep it for yourself, but it's kind of hard to go to the snake fight, you know, with the serum. I'm thinking maybe you can leave it behind and, like, go to him. But, you know, we're going to do things the right way, and we're going to help him. Yeah. And so something I haven't really talked about is, lately I've been playing a game called The Typing of the Dead. Originally released for Sega Dreamcast, and it's now a freeware PC game. And I know a lot of people called it bad, but it's actually really fun. I've never had the chance to play House of the Dead 2. I haven't had, no, I, I've had the chance to play it. I just haven't played it in years. I finally played Typing of the Dead, and I fell in fucking love with it. I, I'm terrible at the game, but I love it. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill. Here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. Yay! Richard is dead. There are a lot of things I really like about the remake of this game on GameCube. Like the graphics, the new weapons, the 180 degree turn, the new puzzles, the new rooms, and comp 
competent fucking voice actors along with better lines. Good. I don't have to fight the snake boss in this episode. I don't have to. That is a good thing. Yeah, well, we are actually almost out of time, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to go loot this room in here, which actually holds um, some pretty interesting items. Sweet, my handgun bullets will be above 100. Achievement get. Collect more than 100 handgun bullets from Resident Evil Director's Cut. LOL. So yes, sadly, ladies and gentlemen, we will have to end this episode, but on the upside, I don't have to fight the snake boss yet. So, yay? I don't know. But um, in this room is actually the second uh, thing of acid rounds. Barry gives you the first, if you follow my walkthrough. Um... You'll actually want these for the snake, for the first snake boss fight. I mean, I guess you can use them on the second one too, but really, I would just, I mean, I would recommend using them on the second one, but you know. So, um, as always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at twittercom Mario. I do not have a Facebook for my tw for my YouTube, so don't go looking for that. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, favorite, and subscribe if you liked this video and you'd like to see more like it. And I hope this made your day a little better whenever and wherever you're watching it. So, last but certainly not least, thank you for watching. <laughs>